In this first video about Web Security Dojo, we just wanted to take a minute to talk about what Web Security Dojo is, why we made it, and how it might be useful to you. Uh, so Web Security Dojo project basically came from an internal need to have a training environment for our classes. We do classes for various conferences and internal corporation settings. Um, we wanted to have a training environment that gave people the greatest opportunities for success. We wanted to simplify everything as much as possible, uh, have everything set up for people as much as possible with good defaults, have both the tools and the targets on people's local machines so that they could easily mess with things without you know, stomping on each other's toes or having network problems, or just all the various things that can go wrong. Um, so that's why we created Web Security Dojo. It's now available to the public. It's open source, uh, hosted with SourceForge. You can get there by going to dojo.mavensecurity.com is where we have a lot of information about the project, or you can go directly to SourceForge slash uh, Web Security Dojo also is the main host where we have all the downloads and bug trackers and mailing lists and all the collaboration stuff. It's actually built with a build script, so it's repeatable build, so we can produce uh, for different VMs or ISOs or other environments. <clears throat> I'll show you a few things that we've included. Uh, we have the tools, uh, Burp Suite Free, Durbuster, Paros, Rat Proxy, Scavenger, SQL Map, W3AF, and Web Scarab, which we think are a pretty good overview of the tools that are out there. Uh, in later screencasts, we'll go through and talk about some of these tools specifically and how to use them. But for now, I just want to show you that we have a number of them that cover most of the bases, uh, but it's not a comprehensive set of tools. Uh, our goal isn't to overwhelm people with having you know every available tool in here. We've just picked what we think are the best of breed tools that will help you to learn the best. Um, if there are tools that people think are really good and would like to add, we're not opposed to that. Uh, we do plan on adding more tools, but for right now we want to keep things as simple as possible so we see what people have to say about the environment. There's a couple targets that have to be started manually. Um, these are targets in different technologies. Hack Me Casino is written in Ruby. Insecure Web App and WebGoat are both Java. Um, and then we have some targets that are in PHP that are running all the time, you know, don't take up memory in the background, so you don't have to stop and start them. But if you want to use Hack Me Casino, Insecure Web App, or WebGo, you have to go to the target menu and start them manually. You know, when you're done using them, if you want to use a different one, you should probably stop them just because uh, they do take up memory in the background, and when you're running in the VM, you usually don't have a huge amount of memory. We also have included documentation menu up here. Uh, which includes the Hack Me Casino User's Guide, which is very useful for getting started. Uh, the Testing Guide, if you want to learn about testing in general, this is the best free resource that we've found, um, to how to use W3AF, and a couple of the top ten guides. Uh, here's the Firefox setup. The default page has a lot of information about getting started, uh, links to all of the training environments. This is the PHP one. Uh, damn vulnerable web app, which is a really nice environment that has very simple training things. Um, Hack Me Casino is has a nice user's guide. It's a little more complicated. It was designed when you know, Web 2.0 was the new thing, and they wanted to make a Ruby on Rails uh, thing with more of the JavaScript back and forth Web 2.0 stuff. Um, <coughs> web Goat is a very nice training environment from OWASP. It's very explicit about what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, it's kind of more like a school training environment where you're they're telling you exactly what to look for and kind of how to do it. <coughs> and there's even videos available online if you get stuck of how to solve the exercises. And then Insecure Web App is kind of free form. There's, they don't tell you what problems might be there, so you're looking for security vulnerabilities just like you would be in the real world. There's no, you know, hey, you got to find this, and this is exactly how you do it. This is for when you're a little bit more further along and you want to hunt for things on your own. Uh, the main interaction with a lot of the tools through Firefox comes through this proxy switcher. If you press this down arrow, it brings up a list of all these, and these are all configured for their ports already. So if you want to use Burp, you check the click mark 
and you click the check mark there and this little red light goes on that shows you were going through the proxy if I try to refresh now it'll tell me oh no you're not running the proxy so we'll go and start up burp it's one of my favorite tools and we'll refresh again and see what happens burp will say oh I'll grab that for you and we have it configured to intercept by default you can either forward this or drop it or just turn it off uh, and then everything will go through that's queued up and everything after without being stopped and you can refresh and see that there is the history enter for my second refresh so that's just a very brief overview of how to get started in here um, there's also a readme file that has a lot of this information I've talked and some more about the background of the project and ways that you might want to get started, um, some little hints about what training environments you might want to look at first. And for now, that'll be all. I hope you all enjoy the dojo. Please give us feedback at SourceForge and talk to you soon.